Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back. So, the video I was doing before this, my phone rang and I uh, tried to turn it off while I was doing a video and I'm not very good with mobile phones. And it just stopped the video, so I'm just going to continue. So it'll be like in, just put part one and part two. Uh, but when I upload them, I'll just put them within 15 minutes of each other. Um, can I remember? It's only been a, a few minutes, and can I remember? Yes, I was doing the ink turns. Yes, I did that, didn't I? And I'm going to do the um, wet on wet. Right, so I'll get my pigment up. Oh, look, it's drying. Just take some water off that. Oh, I just love these, uh, the vibrancy of the um, ink tins. And even wet in wet, it's vibrant. Right then, so I will do, what's the next one? Watercolour. There went watercolour. Right. Let me see which colour should I use. I think I'll go with the blue. Right. Scratchy, scratchy time. I need to go in a bit. And look, it hasn't worn much of the pencil. Smart as a carrot. Right, I wonder if it'll work with the blocks as well. Oh, I'll give them it well. Right, is that? Oh, that's a lovely blue. Just do the wet on dry. Oh, that's gorgeous, that blue. Oh, I can't see it there. Yes, that's a gorgeous blue. That's with the watercolour pencils. Well, the Norring tents are there, let me see. Just the same. Watercolour collection. Professional quality, watercolour collection. No, they're not the ink tents, they're just the watercolour pencils, but they're very vibrant. I'll see if there's a red and compare it with that one. Oh, that blue's just beautiful. Right, I was going to see what the call is, wasn't it? It's called Ultramarine. Right, now let's see if there's a red. Um, because I bought these second hand, so that's why there's some missing. Let me see. Oh, I can't get it out now. Right, what colour is this? This is Madaka Mine. No, I think that's a red, isn't it? It's a, de it's a deep red. Right, let's see. Yeah, that's a red. It's not worn much away. Right, so that's the ink tents. And this is the watercolour. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look, it's uh, very vibrant as well. Maybe I should have got those um, pencils out when I got the upgrade because I was very disappointed with them, but I don't know where I put them though. Hmm. 
might put you on pause and see if I can, if they're handy, if I can find them well. Let's see. Back again. Yes, I found them. They're in my pencil pot. I wasn't uh, very impressed with these. They're Rembrandt uh, Aquarelle Lyra, but they may be very good with um, this palette. So let's give these a whirl. Well, they feel all right going down on the rough surface. Um, not much wear on them. The end behind a focus. There, can you see? Not much wear. And this colour is, I'd say it's an orange. What's a dark orange? Right. Let's see. Oh, it looks very vibrant on the palette. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, wait, what's happening here? Let me see, maybe that was just when it went down first. It seems a bit gritty. I don't know. Try again. Maybe it was just my eyes. I'll try, I think I'll try with another pencil because that's like a lighter coat now because I've added more water. There, look. I don't know if you can see. It seems like it's gone. Can you see the little gritty bits? It seems like it's like gritty. I'll try with another pencil. Because it might be just that colour. So we will try with a green. Is that green? It looks blue. Surely it's... It is green, yeah. Doesn't worn down very much either. Mm, let's see. That looks like a Viridian green, is that what it is? Um yes it is. Alright, try this. No. Is it only on that colour? Is that just bubbles? Oh, what a rocket. Yes, it's a bit gritty on the green as well. Hmm. Right, let's try the... What's this? The um, Mr. Brown Dark Sepia. Let's try that. Because I don't want to write them off without trying the different colours. Right, let's try that. I mean, the pigment of the pencils look very rich and vibrant, but I don't want it to be gritty. Right, let me see. No, that one seems okay. Maybe it's just the different colours of the pencils. I don't know. Right. 
so I tried them with the I tried the palette with the Rembrandt Aquarelle Lyra um, the Darewend watercolours and the Ink Tens the Caran d'Ache watercolours and the Graffitend oh I was going to use the block wasn't I try a block um, what colour should we go for? Try a yellow this time. Right, let's see, put this paintbrush in here. Right, I don't think I've uh, tried the blocks out. Oh, it just feels like a pastel going down. Hmm. Right, let me see. Where's my paintbrush? Right, let's see. There we go. Oh, that's very vibrant, isn't it? Right, let's see. Right, there we go. Yes, that was a bit of, um, I think, a bit of a colour off another one, that bit. Yeah, so the blocks work quite well, but I don't think I'd use the blocks in that way. I'd just, that's uh, much better just to use it like this, I think. Yeah, that's how I'd use the blocks. I wouldn't dare uh, bother scratching under the palette. Yes, so I'm very pleased with this and I'm hoping to get into the water. Well, I've just drew some wheels, so I'm going to be using this to paint them. So anyway, enough babbling. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't, you probably won't hear me saying this because you've turned it off already. Um, would I recommend this Karen Dash palette? Yes, I would. I paid £11 for it, but I'm sure you can get it cheaper elsewhere. Um, that's all I've got to say. Look at the colours. Gorgeous. Johnny signing out. See you, bye.